we look back, once we get to all the arenas and we look back on our time, we're going to look at Philadelphia and be like, wow, that was the most average experience I've ever had in an arena in my entire life. It was very arena in the arena. The only thing, it was the life-size gritty head you could buy. <laughs> and I, like it, it was like a full mask you could put on your head, but I wanted to kind of have it as like a John the Baptist kind of thing. Like I have, I have cut off Gritty's head and served <laughs> him on a platter. But it was like it was like seventy bucks. So I didn't. That's that's. So what you're saying is we're not going to cut to Phil in a moment, and he's going to be wearing that gritty head. <laughs> My face Wouldn't is gritty. Would you enough. like to know next on Ugly Thirds? Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds without the gritty face. Boo! Uh, today's topic is Philadelphia Flyers top three jerseys. Trems and John, take it away. I did buy sunglasses with gritty eyes. I should have dug those out. Yeah, where are they? That's I don't know where they're at either. They, they were headache inducing. Like they, were, <laughs> they were sitting. Are you supposed the, to be able to see through them? You can't see. They were sitting next to the baseball players. Yeah, there. I, I just, poor shame. Missed opportunities. Speaking of no, this is the no, this we're is doing the, the best of. Now, now we've we did Washington as a worst of and worst of 2.0, even though we labeled it the top three jerseys. However, Philadelphia redeems itself. Yeah, yeah, the best of is a best of, and the worst of is a worst of, and, and that's and what, never the twain shall meet. What Phil's wearing is decent. It wasn't the best reverse retro. It wasn't the worst one. Decent. Second one was lazy. Yeah. But this that's one. That's another. That's here. another video. Here's the one I was wearing, which is 1.0. Nice. Not not a bad not one. Bad. Right? Yeah. yeah. Black shoulders. Yours is the not 50th bad. anniversary, right. which is different. But, uh, but I like the gold, the gold. The gold touch. Gold is interesting. You know, for, 50th, for what yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I'm wearing every Flyers jersey ever. Basically. Basically. Well, but we saw some deviation from that in the last video. Our but. three is dynamically good. When they wear this, Phil. This was the. 2012 Winter Classic. Actually, the, no, that was against Boston. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. No, this I mean, is a like, less uh, exciting version of. Right. So this, I, I think, is actually meant to be like the counterpoint to the one I'm wearing. I mean, this. It, maybe it's just the shoulders that I'm just thinking that because the sleeves are different. But I mean, okay. So Winter Classic, they needed something vintage. They needed something different. Um, they already did that two years prior, which is which is not. This is not a Winter Classic. Like, what on earth? Well, because they were wearing the stupid edge-looking ones we looked at in the worst of with the goofy shoulders. That's the one that brought it back and said, yes, we can wear a vintage look. Yeah. We can bring back the original 67 look. Um, and so, like, this allegedly is based on the sock stripes of the 1980s. Clever. That's where that got, because they needed something. Clever. And they needed something different, and so they built around it, and they did the very vintage, it has a top stripe, but not a bottom stripe, which I don't know why that's a trend, but it's a trend. And of course, you have the contrasting nameplates, oh, because why wouldn't nameplate. you? I love it. Honestly, the only thing I don't love is I don't think the off-white, the vintage white, the cream color works as well here, because it looks it looks too close to orange. Yeah, it blends in too much. It yeah, blends it in too much. It doesn't pop as much. I, I think, that. and I, I get why they did it, but I think they probably should have mm -hmm. camera tested both versions and said, no, white's better. But good looking jersey. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good for for what they could have done. This was for what they did a few years previous to where they ended up, and the felt too. Yeah, the felt is always nice. Man, so nice. That uh, that that was like a backdoor pilot for a, you know introducing a new jersey set. This was sure. they knew it was a one off, and it stayed a one off. Uh, I don't think they ever wore it as a third in any real length of time. So it uh, it served its time well. Yep. And uh, I, honestly, I need to get one eventually. Like, it's a good look. Hold up today. But it gets better. It gets better. Classic. Phil. 1982 to 2001. And I'm guessing this says the word road and not read. Right. So, it, it, road. it might actually also be 2007. Does it have a bar? No, or? it's a one. I can clearly see a one there. Unless you read it wrong. I, I don't know. Anyways, not, not my best customized job, I'll say that, but it is a great looking jersey. It's it's the perfect balance of colors. They took that that look, which is based on the one prior to it, right? 
they added a thicker, a, a black stripe to separate the white and the orange, which I think is a good idea. Uh, the only thing I don't love is that there's only a single black stripe at the bottom, which kind of blends in with the pants, whereas the other ones had a, a stripe in the middle, which kind of, you know, we'll talk more about, I suppose. Um, other than these starter jerseys have a very small logo compared to the other eras. Like well, it was, sure do. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Now. I mean, like even, even compared to that, it's, it's itty bitty, yeah. but like, that's the era for you. Yeah. No, I, I think these are spectacular and, and it's, it's done well. Yeah. It, 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 and, and we compared this one, uh, this style to, uh, the one we were working on, uh, wor the worst of video. Yeah. Um, just the, the striping and, and, and Reebok's ridiculous. Here it is, but it's not back here. And then all of a sudden, this is super large. Like this, and time and time again, we come back to it. There's something about the simplicity of these early jerseys. Like we don't need to, we don't need to go dynamic sometimes. And yet, it's super different. No yeah. one else had an over-the-shoulder stripe, other than Philadelphia. Yeah. Which leads us to number one. Phil, tell us about it. 2010 to 2017, based on. It's uh, from 1967, so inauguration year to 78. Yeah, basically predating these. There was a, a goofy year in between. Um, all right, so let's let's compare. First, um, first off, there is a difference in the orange. It is brighter. This is this is a little more muted, which is probably a good thing. But they're going back to this this year, if I'm not mistaken. They're what changing those the orange. Um, so you can see the the black stripe in between. Definitely a big difference. Uh, the extra stripe here that is not here. Um, and, oh, and the the hemline stripe. You might want to help me lift. You want to lift that one? Show the hemline. Trim. Do you want to that one? Lift. Gotcha. Right. You have a white stripe that is above the bottom versus a black stripe that is on the very bottom. Uh, I mean, I I like it's those it's subtle differences like that. The only thing that that you know is not great. Is that this stripe is deliberately too thin, where a lot of numbers will bleed over? Does it on the nine over there? On your on your shrimps. Oh, oh, on your yours it definitely does for sure. Yeah, you can see on the white version that the nine there is absolutely into the white. The four kind of bleeds like that's that's a deliberate touch because that's how it was in the sixties. I guess with a uh, you know it's not as close when you have a one in there. It's not a wide enough number, but it's and uh, factory customization. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, it's all gonna wash away eventually. Mm. Um, I, I mean, you look, you look at these three jerseys. It's all very similar ideas. These two, I mean, that's that's what it's 30, 40 years of basically the same look. Yeah. I mean, look, look at this. Look at the monitor right now. These are all. These are five different jerseys, and you could easily say like, oh yeah, I, I, I thought there was just one giant look. And they just kept like recycling the same thing. Like, yeah, I mean, if I if I had Phil's reverse retro here, it's like you it, you wouldn't even like I would just blend with the other four. Like it just it's all a very solid look, and Philadelphia has really never changed. And yeah. They when they try and when, when they've stepped outside the box, it can go well. Yeah. We saw some examples where it sure. didn't, but it certainly can. When when they do change though, when that day of rebranding comes, and and their franchise is going through a rebrand themselves, so I'm wondering if we'll see something in the next couple of years. Like new look flyers, you know, gritty, gritty on the. Oh yes, all gritty, <laughs> gritty all patch the on the shoulders. Actually, a gritty patch kind of be fun to watch. I mean, if Colorado could have a Yeti foot unexplained for how long? That's fair. I'll give you that. And on that note, he shrimps. I'm John. Phil, take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds. Flip, flip. Flipadelphia. Flip, 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 flipadelphia. You look good in a gritty hat. Mask, face, bodysuit.